Hello, hello, my peoples, family, friends, and other. This is La Cima Noir, um, and we're just here in the Dearborn household. There's just, you know, there's, it's the middle of the day. Naomi yeah. get, gets a snack, and she gets a good idea to ask Hunter what the sex of her baby is. One of the perks of being a doctor in the Sims world is that you can find uh, out the sex of any uh, baby, including Arthur's your egg. own. Oh, so she just asked oh, Hunter, uh -huh. what are we having? Like, ah. And she's waiting anxiously, and we see right here oh, that they're sheesh. having a baby Simone boy. Skin so I decide Skin that since Naomi and Hunter Ooga. know, you know, they're so excited right. for their baby, Lenore they're just going to go ahead and... Bow plan the um the nursery and i think the perfect place for the nursery would be this room right here right next door to naomi's um that room also has its own bathroom in it so let's get started with this nursery you guys i'm excited to see what we come up with so immediately in my head i'm thinking about you know picking an item in the room and rearranging the room according to the that item so i chose this cute light blue and red bed and i was like hey these dressers these side dressers look really good with this blue in the bed so you know let me get that and the next important thing that i think is important for a kids room is like a bookshelf because it's really nice to have books for your toddlers and your kids so you can read it to them and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, a nice place to put it. And I decided this corner right here outside the bathroom looks really cute. So I get this shelf and it's not the same color as the bed, but it's close enough. Then I bought this dollhouse and I had to take everything out of the dollhouse because I it could not fit anywhere with the furniture inside it. So I take the dollhouse out and then next I'm gonna put the bed back in. And I'll just rearrange things um, according to the dollhouse now, cause it's so big, you know, with Sims, you are very limited in where you can put stuff. So now that the dollhouse is right here, I think that mm, it fits. So now I could put the furniture back inside and I should be able to put this bookshelf in, in the nook, in the corner right away um yeah here we go so this looks nice um next uh oh and i also added the um the uh the the baby bed right there so when the baby's born he'll go right there in, in the kids room because if you don't put that bed where you want it the game will put it somewhere crazy where you can't get to the bed and you gotta go to build mode just to move the baby um i got this toy case because it matches this blue this blue red theme and i think it's really cute like it looks it matches up with everything i don't know about you guys but finding a rug is always to me a hard job because i can never find just the right rug to put that matches everything but i find this cute blue and um, yellow and red rug. It has blue, blue and red in it, so it matches, of course. But the yellow is in it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna trip myself over that because, as you can see, there's pops of color all over this room. So it goes cute. Um, I resize the rug. Next, I think it'll be cute to get him a little cute stuffed animal. When to keep the stuffed animal neutral, so I'm thinking a black and white Dalmatian stuffed animal would be really cute for his room. And then also, and this is a, um, a tip. If you're cat, if you're gonna have a toddler, just go ahead and buy some blocks. Because blocks are great for toddlers. They learn movement and um, mental skill with them. So I think blocks are a necessity. Um, he needs a, a, a little potty. And I'm thinking a red or blue potty would do probably red because I think it needs more red in the room. So I'm gonna give him a red potty. Um, and also, another thing that I think is very important are these little tablets because they can learn every um, they can learn every skill on these little tablets. So all of my kids have tablets because when I just need a break, 
and let them do their own thing. A tablet will definitely occupy their time. Um, now, I didn't used to do this, and I very recently just started doing this, but I also think that having a little um, playground or a little jungle gym out for there for the toddlers is really nice, and they'll go out there on their own, and they, they just love these um, jungle gyms. More, more to Some toddlers more than others, like some toddlers really can't get enough of it, and some toddlers barely use it, but it won't hurt to have some things for them to do that will also help with their movement skills um next i think that another tip is get the toddlers and the kids these little cola defender night lights it'll keep them from having many bad dreams because i've i've come to find that when they don't have night lights they have like bad dreams and stuff almost every night and they're seeing monsters un under the bed but this cola night light helps prevent the monster un under the bed so i think that they're just so useful and i think that it's a must-have for all toddlers and children and kids so next i'm thinking about doing um a red wall or a blue wall um i'm trying to find the right color blue because some blues you know it needs to match the to me i want them to match the bed blue but if i can't find that i guess this will do and also i'm thinking i want to go with a stripe like why not do stripe because so as you can see i'm doing stripes um that's going to be a blue and red stripe room um I think this is cute. Like, I've recently started doing stripes, and I love it on one of the rooms I did for a, um, a, a kid or even a living room. I've done rainbow stripes. It's just so cute. So, here's the finished product. I think this is a cute-looking toddler bedroom. It's jam-packed with stuff. So, our baby is going to have a lot to do in this room. Here we have Naomi. Um, she's just eating some fruit salad. I think that's her favorite. Um, Naomi has noticing that she, she's kind of getting thick and she likes it, but you know, she's kind of vain, kind of like, she wants to keep this slim, thick fit, this Gonna. slim, thick, um, <laughs> oh, no. body frame. So she's been kind of eating salads and fruits just to, um, stop some of the, um, weight gain that she's noticed that she's been gaining. A little bit of weight so she's trying to um curb <laughs> her um her not curb her appetite per se but just trying to take in less calories and i'm also going to have her pay her bills from her last apartment um these bills are left over from her last apartment so she's kind of in debt so after she pays her bills all her future bills will be towards this house only um and as you can see, the house bills for the um, apartment was really, really cheap. So she's going to be paying a lot more for this house. But she, in her, in their defense, they're making a lot more money with um, Hunter becoming a full-fledged doctor and stuff. And her making more money doing her um, tech field business, her freelance tech. So also, I have Hunter um, check these plants um as you can see he they're already ready to harvest so this is going to be a nice um some nice income and he's working out because he's so active and loves to work out so there's that one thing that i completely forgot is that i had put a grow fruit outside and grow fruit are good for fertilizer they help um plants and stuff grow i forgot to actually plant that so i want to have hunter come out here and plant this grow fruit tree um so he can have some fertilizer for the garden because the garden is going to be really big and expansive and he's going to need some cheap fertilizer to to um, fertilize those plants and what better way to fertilize something cheaply is to get your grow it yourself so it's homemade fertilizer um and we're going to have not only get an, an, another gig um, she's all about making money. She's trying to keep up with the Joneses and keep up with some f some famous friends that she has from back in her day as a Simstagram model. Wink, wink. Future episode alert. But 
yeah, so I want to have her make website web, website pages because that seems to be her niche, which she's really good at, and it's really easy for her, and it's really um quick to make good money doing that. And also, Hunter's going to take Naomi out one last time Goodbye, before the baby bye. gets here because she, he knows that once the baby comes, Apologia. they're not going to be able to go out alone like they used to without hiring some stranger to watch their kid. So I'm going to have him take her out to her favorite restaurant, which is a Mexican place. Um, And they are going... And also, I want to have him buy some um books because he needs to raise his 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 herbalism his herbalism skill and what better way to start that off than to um read books on it so I want to have him buy all three volumes of the the um herbalism book books and I'm also going to have him buy some parent books too because he's a little bit nervous that the baby's coming so soon and he or Naomi have very has very few knowledge um, and information on children. So I want to ha- do that and just have them brush up, brush up on some things before the baby gets here. So we're at the Mexican restaurant and I love this build. I love what I did with the columns and stuff and the colors. Um, it's like a green, blue r- restaurant um, f- format. With some brown in it too. Um, I like the chairs and stuff. Like it's very small, very quaint, very um, mom and pops like. So you know the food's gonna be extra good, cause it's like a hole in the wall place. Um, Naomi and uh, Hunter. I love their um their um not formal but their party clothes because it's like very um kind of formal ish but but more um more homey i guess well hunter that is wearing a full-on suit but i love how they're matching um hunter's like you know this is our last dinner outing before we have this baby like we have to make the most of it and i'm just like yeah, i know babe i'm just so nervous so i want to have him um, get both get horchata because it's the chef special and it's very um, authentic Latino drink, um, but it has origins in West Africa. That's something that I learned recently that horchata is kind of from West Africa, so that's cute. Um, I'm gonna have them. I think they're gonna have an appetizer or or not. I don't know. They could have an appetizer, but hmm, what should they get? So I'm gonna have Naomi get the. Tanquitos, and then Hunter, you can get some um, empanadas, I guess. So I think that's just it. That's it for them. So Naomi is like Hunter. I'm a little bit afraid because both of us are kind of estranged from our family. We're not close to them. We didn't even invite our family to our wedding. I'm just kind of afraid that. Our kids might be estranged from us. Like I couldn't live with myself. Like I'll be so hurt if our kids, if our, if our son or any of our future kids doesn't invite us to our wedding. Like I just want us to be close to our kids until we die. Like I just can't bear it. And Hunter's like, you know, our our parents weren't perfect, and they kind of did things that kind of effed up our childhood. So as long as we're the best parents and we show our kids with unconditional love, respect, and support, I don't see why they would not want us around. And we just have to hope for the um, best, babe. Like, get out of your head. Because Naomi is always in her head, always just thinking really hard. And Hunter's always there to remind her to just relax and chill and just go with the flow. Just be cool, you know? So the food comes and obviously it's so good. Um, It smells amazing. And Hunter and Naomi can't wait to eat and drink and stuff. But Naomi is kind of annoyed with Hunter. So she just comes out and says... Hunter, I don't like the fact that 
you just kind of act like nothing bothers you and you know everything is always cool and peachy and you're always kind of getting on me but just being concerned about things and i think being concerned and being worried are normal and you act like you're just so perfect like nothing ever bothers you what's up with that and hunter's just like well that babe things bother me i'm definitely not superhuman or anything like that but i know how you are like you worry so much so i just try to like put you first and just try to make you feel better like i'm always trying to make you feel at ease and things like that and yes i have doubts yes i have issues of my own but i just want to put you first babe and Naomi feels kind of bad, but she doesn't really feel that bad because she likes to speak her mind. And feels, there's nothing wrong with speaking your mind. But she understands Hunter a little bit better, more better than she did before. And she's like, I feel that. I understand that. And we're good. And I think it's good they had this conversation because with the baby coming, they don't need they, they don't need animosity or any bad feelings in that environment because... You know, they, she would hate for the baby to grow up in an environment where there's bad vibes or they're arguing. So I think that getting everything out on the table is good. And she is officially ready to have this baby. So it's the next day. They had a good meal. Um, Naomi is doing what she does best, which is work, 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 work. Um... Hunter is kind of chilling or chilling around the house. He's gonna say what's up to not to um Naomi, and um I think I want to have him make breakfast for Naomi because she's been working since daybreak. So he just wants to do something nice for her and make her a good breakfast. So as you can see, we are making money. Um, over and over again, we are making website page after website page, and Naomi is not done. She's going to continue to make that website page when all of a sudden she goes into labor and she's freaking out because Hunter is at work and she's like, this is my worst fear. Like she really did not want to have this baby without Hunter, but she just has to do what she has to do. So... She decides to calm herself down and eat her favorite fruit salad. And she's going to have this baby alone at home without Hunter. Um, am I going to have her miss work? So I actually decided that I want to have Hunter come home because that's what Hunter would do, right? He would come home so that she doesn't have this baby So we're just alone. waiting for Hunter to come his ass home. Oh. And he finally comes Say, home. He comes ow. strolling in. And he oh. um, touches her stomach to make sure that, that the baby's actually coming and that it's not a false alarm. And he's like, yeah, babe, it's time. The baby's coming. Is everything where I put it? You know, all, this, all, all the supplies where I put it when we were trying to oh. set up for when Whoa. baby comes. And she's Whoa. like, yes, everything is in place. And Hunter's just trying to assure her Whoa. that she, 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 she got she got this. Everything's going to be it's fine. We're going to have this baby, um, this healthy baby boy, and all we right in the world. So here we are. It's time for not only to have this baby. Um, here we go. So she's having the baby, and we're just anxiously waiting for this baby to be born. I only feel like she's been pregnant forever. Like, she wants to get the baby out of her now. So I was thinking of good names that I felt like sounds good with the last name Dearborn. And I came up with Darren. To me, Darren Dearborn has a nice ring to it. So Darren Dearborn it is. Our first baby is here. And his name is Darren Dearborn. Um, Naomi is excited. She's holding her baby. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe you're here. She holds him like closer, close to him. She's crying. She's looking at him, and she's like, "Oh my God, you are so pale, just like your daddy." And she's like, "Of course, of course, he's probably probably going to get you know darker as he gets older." But she, Naomi's overjoyed. Her prince has arrived. <laughs> 